six, just six. So that's all it is. You can do six of anything. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. We are going to the gym today. I'm taking y'all to the gym with me and I'm shooting a little mic'd up video. Only done this one other time like forever ago when I, we were out in Dallas and you guys enjoyed it and I don't know why I've never shot another one again. I wanted to film this video because I did this quad workout last week and I was so sore. And it takes a lot for me to get sore. Like I haven't been sore in a while. So I'm gonna take you through exactly what I did. I only do four exercises, keep it simple, but it was some work. Brush the teeth, sunscreen, breakfast, get dressed, and then we're going to the gym. Brush your teeth before you do your skincare, you know, because you don't wanna wash off everything like around your mouth, around your face. But I don't do my morning skincare until after the gym. So now I just put on some sunscreen, and then I'll come home and do my, my AM skincare routine. All right, let's see what's going on under here. I've had this flexi rod set since my last video that I posted. She's old and she's frizzy, and it's time to do my hair again. I don't know what I'm gonna have. I've been eating overnight oats. This one's from Oatsum. I love them, it's just like so easy. Just half a cup of oats. It has chia, flax, and hemp all in it. Gluten-free, organic, and then you just add milk or water, half a cup, or, I, oh, I can need, oh, I forgot I can have it warm. So I think I'm gonna try it warm, because I always have it cold and I love it cold. We got breakfast, half a cup of oats. I put a half a banana, some chopped pecans, pecans, whatever you want to call it, and some honey. So we got the carbs, we got a little bit of fat, and then we got some protein. And then here I just put one scoop of protein powder and then a serving of powdered peanut butter, the PB Fit, that has protein in it too. This is 585 calories, 40 grams of protein, Ooh, this is good. Ooh, baby, taste it. Come taste it. No. Why? Come taste it. You make me, you make me taste everything you make. I make you taste protein. Yes, you do. You are such a liar. I've already eaten this stuff. I don't want to Just take protein. a little sip. No. Come over here right now. Get over here. Give me this. Chalky. It's good, ain't it? <laughs> yes, it is. It's chalky. No, sorry. Exactly. Sorry. Cinnamon Delight, PB Fit. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Are you not? All right, let's try these oats because I always have them cold. So let's see what they taste like warm. I still prefer them cold. It's okay warm. It's, it's weird because I feel like when they're cold, there's more flavor to it. I feel like it's super muted now that it's warm. Time to get dressed. I'm wearing these seamless leggings from Honor Active as well as, well as this like, I won't call it a crop tee because it's like a three quarter length tee. So it's not full length, but it's super soft and super stretchy. And then I just have this black plain Gymshark sports bra. And I'm wearing a medium in both. I love this top. I bought it in white too, but in the longer version. And it just looks so cute on. So it does come a little bit longer. This one is like three quarters. It just sits right below like the high waisted leggings, but the, the full length one obviously goes down to your hip. But I'm not sponsored by Honor Active, although I would like to be. I would like to be. So I love their stuff and I love the pricing. Like, it's 
good quality but affordable and it's just like winning i've been able to work with them and i'll actually be able to post that video soon i've been holding that video just because i wasn't allowed to post but i just saw today that they have started posting so yeah i'll be posting that next i actually swapped my sports bra i put on like this other this is a gymshark one too i feel like it's a little bit looser not as tight and it's also a little nudie color hand dandy i wear these like every day these are my new balance 530s i need to get them in other colors this is my favorite version of the new balances so I'm wearing these high socks my gym bag here my little um fanny pack okay this is also from honor active i got it in black and nude i just got a lot of stuff from them um, a sweat band when y'all be asking how my hair lasts so long i tie those edges down some satin hair ties little scrunchies i usually just do a pineapple hand sanitizer because it's nasty out there perfume and then I'll have room for my keys. And then in the back of here, there's a little zipper pocket. And then I have like my ID and card. How cute is this little crossbody? But because I'm wearing, there's black on my shoes, I thought I'd just wear the black one. Even though the nude one would look really good with this. My Apple Watch. The mites. I think I only need one of them. Okay. So the mic that'll go into my camera and then the one I'll be speaking in. I'll see you guys in the gym. Hello, hello. Testing. Okay, I think I got it. I haven't used this in a long time. Hopefully the audio sounds good. If not, I'm scrapping it and I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> Always started off with my cardio. I get the cardio done and out the way. It's probably best to do cardio after you lift to, you know, conserve your energy. I ain't got time for that. If I wait to do cardio afterward, it's not gonna get done. Now I'm just gonna walk for about 30 minutes on an incline. I go at like a 10 incline speed, like 2.5. I'm in my last two minutes of the 30, and I'm dying already. It's hot. My warm up is always the same for every leg day, right? It's just getting them hip flexors warmed up and opened up because I have super super tight hip flexors. I'll do about two to three rounds of each. Just kind of go off how you're feeling, right? We're stretching our hip flexors, we're stretching our hamstrings, quads, all of that. Here this guy comes. <laughs> you leave it? Okay. I also always go in this exact order, um, just because I feel like it kind of loosens me up for the next exercise. Like I can never, never start with this one. My knees would be done. I'm gonna be starting it off with some leg extensions to get the quad going. And again, this is a quad day, but we are gonna hit a little bit of glutes with the exercises that we're doing. So something that I switched over to, I used to be like a 10 to 15 rep kind of girl. Now I'm a six to eight and it's made like a huge difference. Also, I've slowed down my reps a lot. I've always like, I've always trained like an athlete, so everything like quick and burst. Now it's slow and controlled. First, that's the first one is just kind of just warm up, get the quads going. So it's gonna be four sets at six to eight reps. I also take a lot of rest in between sets. It's okay to rest. I rest until I feel like I'm ready to go, not by like a certain amount of time, because I wanna make sure I give every set like everything. So 
I was gonna do hack squats next. That was my second exercise, but um, there's girls over there doing it right now. So I'm gonna swap over and I'm gonna go into leg press. I'd rather do hack squats before this just because they're harder. <laughs> it's all right, sometimes you gotta switch it around to single leg leg press. These were in quads and glutes. I love these for glutes. Weight is not very heavy for these exercises. This exercise is because it's single leg. You can't add weight on it, that's perfectly fine. Do it with just the machine only. Um, otherwise, add as much weight as you can to get a good six to eight reps, almost a failure. This one, I want my foot placement nice and high, like higher up on the platform. All the way down, all the way up. I really wanted to give you that side angle so you can just see how how far down you gotta go. But also make sure you keep your lower back on the bench. It's super easy to lift off the bench when you're coming all the way down. See here is where I can cut, easily come off the bench and you don't want that. Keep your butt. I think I'm gonna finally up the weight a little bit. I've been doing these 45 for a while. So I'll put a 10 on it and see how it feels. Oh yeah. Remember, slow and controlled. Don't speed through these. Six. And you always gotta push yourself too, because for me it was like, oh, that 45 was heavy. And then I added those 10s and it felt exactly the same as the 45, so. Got the leg shakes. So next time I know, this is where I'm gonna be starting. All right, so I decided to come inside. I don't usually like to go from outside to inside just because like the temperature change is drastic and it's so cold in here. So it just kind of cools me down way faster than I like. But I'm getting ready to do the half squats, but I just want to show you guys really quickly that I use bands on it. Let me see. These are already on here, but I do the same thing. It just helps with like protecting your knees at the bottom of the half squat movement. It just allow me to go a way lower than I normally would without it. Um, just because like anytime I get to that bottom movement, I feel like I'm about to tear something. Um, so yeah, the bands just give that added protection. If you don't need it, don't use it. my claws are done already and then waiting that long kind of just walk them up a little bit so slowly go up I'm gonna just add a 25 on pull that core in tight here we go and don't lock your knees out at the top never lock your knees out we want the tension on the quads the whole time okay yeah we're gonna stay here if I would have did this one before the leg extensions, I would have definitely been able to go up, but doing these after the leg extensions, absolutely not. I got one more, and then I got one more exercise. <sighs> These days, my leg days are long. So my quad and glutes and then my hamstring and glutes are my longest day of the week, but I only have two of those days out of the whole week. Like me training shoulders, me training back. I'm in and out of the gym, including cardio in probably an hour and 15. And then for my leg days, I'm here for a good hour and a half to two hours. But I'm also taking my time and resting. <sighs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <sighs> Freaking. If you do this, make sure you do the hack squat before the leg press. Nobody wants to be in your sweat, in your germs. 
So wipe it down before and after. All right, last exercise and then we're going home. We're hitting split squats. Now, these can be like mostly quad focus or these can be like hammies glute focus with a little bit of quads. Um, today is quad day, so obviously it's quad focus. I'm gonna be a little bit more upright. A little bit more upright. My stance is gonna be a tad bit shorter. I wanna hit glutes, I would lean over, maybe get a little bit further out. It's not gonna be a very heavy one. Cause I'm dead, you know? So. Chest up, we're going all the way down. Terrible. Oh, oh, like they never get easy. Never. Um, I'm only doing three rounds of these, three rounds of six, six on each leg. And six. Oh, fucking A. Oh. One more. Part of me wants to just be like, that's good enough. I'm gonna go home. Can't do that. Can't do that. Last one. Then I get to go home, take a shower, get nice and cleaned up. Cause I'm sweaty and dirty and gross. I'm trying to hype myself up. I'm trying to trying to get it together. Got this. We want nice strong quads. Go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just I'm just procrastinating. Whew. And six. Ugh. Okay. Last side. Just six. Just six. So that's all it is. You can do six of anything. Last one. Last one. Okay. I'm just going to finish with just a little bit of stretching. Nothing crazy because I want to go. I just wanted to sit down. <laughs> Half the time, I'd be trying to get up out of here. I don't even be doing my static stretching. Nice little quad stretch. This feels good. This feels fantastic. Okay, so that is a wrap on today's quad workout. A little mic'd up, mic'd up situation. Let me know if you guys want more of these. I feel like I don't really be talking about nothing. <laughs> I can work these in at least like once a month or so. So much for tuning in and I will put the workout down below as well as like the sets and reps and then I also might put the weight that I use I usually don't because I mean obviously um, our strengths are different some of you might be stronger than me others might be more beginners or you know whatever but I still will put mine down below so you can kind of look see what it looks like and see how I gradually increased my weight or what that looked like we'll see you guys in the next video I'm breathing all heavy I'm, I'm gonna edit this video in here all my breathing <laughs> um, but See you later.